welcome to this lecture in this lecture we will see the ergodic process in the last videos we have seen the classification of random variable and random process also we have seen the class classification of random process a process is said to be ergodic in nature if time averages are equal to ensemble averages a random process is said to be ergodic if time averages are equal to the ensemble averages now we will see what is the time average so time averages are taken along the time now consider here if the time averages are taken from minus t to plus t the total time is 2t where this t is approaching to infinity for entire time interval you have to take the time average along the time axis now in second case you can take the time averages along minus t by 2 to t by 2 here the total time is t again this time t is approaching to infinity now for the case one if you assume ki time averages are taken from minus t to plus t then you have the formula for calculating the time averages as mu x of capital t is equal to 1 by 2 t integration from minus t to plus t x of t dt where x of t indicates here the random process now for the case second as shown over here if time averages are taken from minus t by 2 to t by 2 then the time average or you can say the time mean can be written as mu x of capital t is equal to 1 by t integration from minus t to t x of t dt again here x of t indicates the random process now if you evaluate the results of both both of these formulas you will get the same result because here in first formula 2t divided by 2t will be 1 again here t by t will be again 1 in second case so in this way you can have the time averages and remember time averages are taken along the whole time that is t approaching to infinity now we will see the ensemble averages now ensemble averages are taken across the process these averages are taken at some fixed time instant if you have the ensemble of three random processes now these three random processes are observed at some time instant say t1 then at time t1 you can calculate the average of random variables which are observed at that time instant so ensemble averages are taken at a fixed time interval fixed time so these ensemble averages are taken across the process whereas the time averages are taken along the whole time for the process now note here ki random process is said to be ergodic in mean if ensemble mean equals the time mean now to understand this the ensemble mean and time mean we'll consider one example consider a random process x of t is equal to a cos 2 pi f c t plus phi with phi as a random variable uniformly distributed over 0 to 2 pi prove that x of t is ergodic in mean now in this given example you have to prove that this x of t is ergodic in mean means what you have to prove you have to prove ki ensemble mean equals to time mean so we will first calculate the ensemble mean then we will calculate the time mean and we will show both are equal then we can say the given process x of t is ergodic in mean so let us solve this now what is given here here the random process x of t is given x of t is equal to a cos 2 pi f c t plus phi where this phi is the random variable uniformly distributed over 0 to 2 pi and we know if random variable is uniformly distributed then we can easily calculate the pdf so the pdf the pdf for the given process is given by yep theta of t yep theta of t or here we have taken a phi yep phi of t of phi is equal to since this is uniformly distributed from 0 to 2 pi so therefore we can write 1 divided by suppose 1, 1 divided by 2 pi minus 0 correct for 0 less than or equal to phi less than or equal to 2 pi we have seen this in the last video and it is equal to 0 otherwise so in this way you can write the pdf here so f phi of t of phi is equal to 
1 upon 2 pi for 0 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 2 pi it is equal to 0 otherwise now this is the given pdf so pdf is given now we will calculate first the ensemble mean then we will calculate the time means so let us start so ensemble mean can be written as expected value of x of t or it can be written as mu x of t it is equal to integration from minus infinity to infinity x of t into f x of t of small x into dx we know ki if you take the expectation of anything so expectation of x is equal to what for random variable expectation of x is equal to integration from minus infinity to infinity x into fx of x dx means x into pdf dx so here you have to apply the same rule we know the difference between the random variable and random process in random process the random variable is associated with the time function so here i have written x of t x of t everywhere so expectation of x of t will be equal to integration from minus infinity to infinity x of t into pdf dx correct expectation of random variable x is expectation of x is integration from minus infinity to infinity x into pdf dx now here x of t is given so therefore expectation of x of t is integration from minus infinity to infinity x of t into pdf dx you can represent it as mu x of t now since this process is from 0 to 2 pi so we shift these limits from minus infinity to infinity to 0 to 2 pi so therefore we will get ensemble mean is equal to 0 to 2 pi x of t x of t is given to us x of t is what x of t is a cos 2 pi f c t plus 5 so you can write here a cos 2 pi f c t plus 5 into pdf dx this is f x t of x is what pdf and pdf is 1 upon 2 pi for this interval 0 to 2 pi into d phi so take a upon 2 pi out of the integration sign so in integral you will get what integration from 0 to 2 pi cos 2 pi f c t plus pi into d phi and we know integration of cos is sine so simply we can write a upon 2 pi into sine 2 pi f c t plus pi so you have to put first 2 pi then you have to put 0 now if you put 2 pi and if you put 2 pi here what you will get so sine 2 pi f c t plus 2 pi minus sin 2 pi f c t plus 0 so what you will get you will get is equal to a upon 2 pi into what into you will get 0 correct <coughs> now you will get ensemble mean for the given process is 0 now we will calculate the time mean now time mean can be either calculated by formula limit t tending to infinity 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 x of t dt or you can use the another formula limit t tending to infinity 1 upon 2t integration from minus t to t x of t dt we can use any one formula i will use here limit t tending to infinity 1 by t integration from minus t by 2 to t by 2 x of t dt now simply go on putting the value of x of t so what we will get here so limit t tending to infinity 1 by t integration from minus t by 2 to t by 2 x of t is a cos 2 pi f c t plus 5 into dt now solve this integration after solving what we will get here it is equal to limit t tending to infinity 1 by t a upon now see here what is the integration of cos integration of cos is sine and what is the derivative of 2 pi f c t plus 5 phi with respect to t it is 2 pi fc and we will we'll write this derivative in the denominator so therefore what will be the common a upon 2 pi fc will be the common so in bracket what what remains here sin 2 pi fc t plus pi so limits are from minus t by 2 to t by 2 now go on putting first put t by 2 then put minus t by 2 and subtract both the terms so therefore we will get limit t tending to infinity a upon 2 pi fc t into sin 2 pi fc t by 2 plus pi minus sin now put minus t by 2 so minus sin 2 pi fc minus t by 2 plus phi now we know what we know here we know ki this fc will be equal to what 
1 by t. 1 by t will be equal to fc. So fc into t will be what? It is equal to 1. So put fc into t is equal to 1. So therefore a upon 2 pi into 1 in bracket here remains sin 2 pi fc. fc into t is again 1. So therefore 2 to get cancel you will get sin pi plus pi minus sin minus pi plus phi. Now we know what we know here ki sin pi plus phi is what minus sin phi and what is sin pi minus phi it is plus sin phi taking the minus sign common you will get the plus sin pi minus phi so therefore you can put here so it is equal to a upon 2 pi in bracket minus sin phi plus sin pi minus sin phi plus sin phi will be 0 so a upon 2 pi into 0 will be 0 so here again we will get time mean is equal to 0 correct and ensemble mean is equal to 0 so time mean is equal to ensemble mean both are 0 so we can say ki given process given process is ergodic in mean so in this way you can prove the ergodicity in mean so thank you for watching this video